<laughs> I'm doing a little bit of creeping here. I got your comment the other day, um, and I replied to it on uh, on the vlog channel. And I would run inside and go meet you and say hi, but I've got to be home in 10 minutes, and I've got to go up 91 there. So I'm just taking my quick look. Colts is going to be here in a little bit, so we're going to come back and visit you and get a look at this beautiful 540. This thing's nice. Yeah, so I'm sorry we didn't, I didn't get to run in and, and say hi, but 4.30 now, um, saw the car there a little bit ago. I was going down south 91, taking my grandfather to get a haircut. And I saw it there and I knew that was you. So anyways, uh, leave me a comment if you watch the video. Um, let me know when's a good time to stop in or who to look for or something like that in there. Um, I'm gonna head back to Hudson now. Anyways, does, are these the first clips of the vlog? I don't know, it's 4.31, and uh, I've been at the grandparents' house doing some stuff for them. Blew a couple of leaves around. Uh, it's, it's pretty bad. There are leaves everywhere. So now I'm gonna head home. Um, I think we're gonna do something cheap for dinner tonight, help somebody out who helped me out this week. John, appreciate that with the uh, blower. Um, maybe meet up with Rosmond, and what the hell is this? What? Is that an Isuzu on like an H3 freaking what? Deckard. So hello, hello and good morning. Focus, right now, focus. So um, yeah, I'm an idiot. I was talking about that guy with the 540, talking to him like he might watch this video. Then I remember that he's from E39, it's not from E39, so is he found our videos on E39 source. As far as I know, he has no idea that the vlogs even exist. So, disregard a lot of that. Anyways, I thought I'd show you, damn it, which side was it? Was it this side? I think it was this rocker that was rebuilt. No, yes? Uh, no. No, that one still has a little bit, there's a tiny bit of surface rust there that I'm gonna have that one redone later. This one, driver's side, okay. Yes. This, of course, I don't have my phone on me for an LED. Let me go get that. It'll look nice. Where is my, there it is. Of course, it's in here. I've been sitting in this chair for the last hour doing uh, YouTube stuff and emails and all the normal uh, crap. It's almost one o'clock. Um, I'm pretty tired, actually, so I'm going to be going to bed in a few minutes here. But I thought I'd do a couple little update things that I haven't had time to film over the last couple of days, and now I do before I go to bed. So we've got an LED. We're gonna have to wait for more focusing. But look how perfect that is. Yeah, the underside is scuffed from whatever, but that's pretty damn good. So there's the new mud flap install. Perfect OEM job, it's already gotten dirty, but the bolts are there. Everything looks real nice, did a nice job on that. So that's, that's pretty much perfect. And uh, you guys already saw that. Good job. So, uh, yeah, that was the update with the car. And then I ordered some parts that I think I mentioned in an E39 source video a couple of days ago. So I'll show you that. They arrived. Um, actually, two things that have plagued the car since I have owned it. Oh, it smells like Christmas in here. I love this candle, but I'm going to bed. So that needs to go out. Right. So in this box, which came from Bavarian Auto, we have $209.90 worth of German parts and engineering. Can you guys tell what this is? I'm not taking out of the bag right now. Watch the 39 source video in a week if you want to see more. But that is a blower motor. I don't think I've already shown this to you. Those things turn, create wind, which then goes through your car to keep it warm and cold. And this is a final stage unit resistor which will make the fan work as it's supposed to. Figured I've never replaced mine. It very infrequently acts up, but it does. So while I'm in there, I might as well do that too. <clears throat> so putting both of those things in means that the dash needs to come out. And that means that like six hours of work need to go into that to make that happen. All of the electronics and the shit in there, and it's gonna be a painful job. But when it's done, the blower motor won't click and rattle and sound like there's just huge chunks of it broken off 
going around in the squirrel cage in there and I, and I turn the car and it makes even worse noises. So that'll be really nice. That's gonna go in next Tuesday, I'm hoping. So stay tuned. But uh, until then, I'm gonna go and lay down in bed and log like eight hours. Actually about eight and a half. Nice. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow.